Hey, so I just wanted to give you all a little perspective during the daytime so you can understand the distances from what we were showing you on the thermals last night. So we're actually on the field that we were overlooking when we got all that footage of all the hogs, the deer, the bobcat, and the coyote all in one setting. So if you look out right out, not quite in the center, but there's a big brown spot out there. That's where we saw the single coyote and the two white-tailed deer that were to its right. That's 330 yards. And then if we go back to that far corner, that's where I showed you the group of hogs that came out. There was probably about 15 of them. That's 680 yards. And then if you go all the way to the back to that tree line, that's 780 yards. So that'll give you a little bit of perspective of what kind of image that, that, was putting, that the DTI was putting out last night. Then if we go all the way over to the wheat field and you can see where the cows are, last night I was telling you that that was around 1,200, 1,250 yards. This will let you know how deceptive distance can be at nighttime. That's really only 900 yards. All right, so right here in the middle of the screen, you see that dark image? That is a wild hog that's at about 620 yards. If you look to the left, you see an image moving from left to right, right towards the hog. That is a coyote. And a little bit behind, there is another coyote that decides it doesn't want to engage. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you through some of the different color palettes. So right now we're on black hot. This is rainbow. This is white hot. And now we're back to black hot, which seems to work best uh, on this particular field. All right, so if you notice now that the, uh, the hog faces up on the coyote, he knows he's there now. So watch what happens. The coyote decides that he's had enough and he is moving on. All right, so this next clip is really cool. We're still up on the plateau and you can clearly see that we've got a coyote. He's at 330 yards. And as we pan just a little bit further to the right, you're gonna see two deer walking away that the coyote uh, is actually watching. Then when we pan all the way over to the left, we're out at almost 700 yards and there's a group of a dozen, maybe up to 15 hogs. And you can definitely tell that they're hogs at this distance. That's one of the things that we really love about the DTI is it has that Zeiss quality image. So we've developed a game plan. We're gonna drop off this plateau and see how close we can get to the hogs and deer. Right now that we're in the same field with them, they're only a short distance apart from each other and we're only about 200 yards out. So before we get any closer, I'm gonna go ahead and run you through these color palettes one more time. Right now I'm on black hot. This is red hot, rainbow, white hot, and now back to black hot. So you can easily tell the difference between deer and hogs on the size DTI at this distance. As we're sneaking in closer to these hogs, we actually got a nice surprise from a flyover from a pair of C-130s. Now we're 105 yards away from the hogs. The image quality of the DTI lets us clearly distinguish between the sows and the boar in the group, which if you're hunting for meat, can make a difference. Y'all be sure to stay tuned. We've got some extreme close-up videos coming for you soon. So anyway, it was a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We've got more coming for you.